Thank you, Doug, and welcome to everybody once more. I uh, really do appreciate the turnout and uh, glad that you were able to join us on such a beautiful evening. I'll, I'll do my best to, to ensure that we get wrapped up uh, before we get rained on. Uh, this isn't the, the only time this year that we've experienced uh, thunder showers during our, our program. And uh, as I had mentioned in our last program when this occurred, if anybody is outside and sees a threat of lightning, please let us know. We do not, do not wish to have anybody struck by lightning and we don't want to place you in danger. So if anybody happens to see lightning striking, let us know so that we can make sure that we arrange our program so that we can make sure everybody's safe. <coughs> uh, I, I had heard somebody ask, how many experiment stations are there in, in Wyoming? And uh, thanks, Doug, for, for bringing that up because uh, we, it's an important thing to all of us. As the dean had mentioned, uh, we view these as a, a location to conduct applied research that will be useful for the people of the state. And along those lines, uh, we have four r &E centers. One is obviously here in Laramie, and Doug already gave you a summary of that one. We have one up in Powell. Uh, that one is primarily focused on irrigated crops research and native seed production. We have one over at Lingle, Wyoming. Uh, that's near Torrington, for those of you that aren't familiar where Lingle is. Um, and that one's on integrated crops and livestock. And then um, we have one in Sheridan. And I, I left Sheridan at the end because we're really excited about what's developing up there. Uh, this year, you may have seen uh, in the news that the state legislature appropriated the university $5.3 million for a project up in Sheridan. What that project involves is acquire, we acquired a building and now we are in the process of trying to consolidate all of the university programs that are up in Sheridan into that one building. So UW will have everybody under one roof. That would include the Research and Extension Center folks, UW Extension, that'd be Dr. Whipple's shop, um, as well as the Outreach School, as well as the Student Services Program. So we're really excited about that uh, because, again, all of us will be under one roof and um, be able to coordinate many of our programs. The focus up there uh, for the Research and Extension Center will be on horticulture, uh, forage management, as well as reclamation, and reclamation primarily from the standpoint of remediating poor water as well as poor soils. Uh, the current center is located in an area where we have limited water and the water quality is fairly poor, so that's why the, the latter focus. Uh, relative to the horticulture and the forage management focus, we are entering a, a very unique partnership with Sheridan College and Whitney Benefits. So the, the ranch that is to the south of Sheridan College will become the Research and Extension Center uh, up in Sheridan. And that's where our horticulture and forage management research will occur. Uh, we're in the very initial stages of that project. In, in fact, uh, today we had a a meeting that was canceled to discuss the planning for how we were going to fit all of our programs under one roof. And for those of you that are from Sheridan or know much about the Sheridan College, that one roof that I keep mentioning is the Watt Ag Center. That is now the University of Wyoming's Watt Ag Center. Um, so that's, that is that is a pause. Uh, I, I'm getting signaled in, in the back. It's rain. Is there any, any lightning? Okay, I, and forgive me if I melt while I'm standing up here if I get wet. <clears throat> so uh, let me move on to um, something that you may have picked up as you came in and registered. There was a book. Uh, that book highlights all of the research activities, not all of the research activities, but many of the activities at the various centers. Laramie is up front. Uh, and then all the other centers that I mentioned have descriptions of their activities in there as well. These are two page summaries intended to give the highlights of the research and written 
in a form that uh, won't be overbearing for those of you that um, aren't accustomed to reading science, okay? So they're, they're written in a, a very uh, summarized fashion. And uh, I want to recognize two people that were instrumental in getting this publication out of the two editors. One is Joanne Newcomb in the far back. Uh, and then, thanks Joanne. And, and then the, the editor that uh, was responsible for ensuring all of it, it got put together uh, is Robert Wagner. Thank you, Robert. Also on the registration table, there was a, a piece of paper that had a program. And on that piece of paper, it, it tells you what the stations are. I, I just want to, if you happen to have that, I just want to point out a couple of things. Uh, and I'm going to bring it back to the Field Days Bulletin. The very first station that is listed on there, some of the, the activity that is described on, in that particular station is on page 41 of the bulletin. For the second station, you can reference that material on page 23. For the third station, some of that information is described in the article on page 43. And then lastly, the station four, uh, Forage Research. This one has many articles that describe it, and it begins on page 31 and goes through 36 of the bulletin. So if you happen to miss something, uh, the contact information for those individuals that will be presenting to you is also included in the full field day bulletin on those, at the back of those articles. Okay, uh, I think with that, Doug, I'll, I'll turn it over so that everybody can uh, get underway.